was the week before finals, and all through the school, not a student was smiling, chugging Red Bull for the field. Books all open, studying for this and for that, except for the occasional text, tweet, or Snapchat. About their test, teachers told students not to fret, but that didn't stop many from asking for extra credit. English, science, math, and social studies, too, to find a way out, some called in with the flu. The students who showed were restless, squirming in their chairs. Worries of failure were their primary cares. Multiple choice questions, long essays to write. These tests gave students quite a fright. The teachers all happy just one week to go, the prospect of resting creating a glow. But not so fast with all these tests to grade, the merry visions in their minds began to fade. Each test was graded and analyzed with painstaking care with thoughts that winter break would soon be here. Finally, tests all graded and their work all done, teachers were waiting for the bell to make their run. With that last bell on Friday, there arose such a clatter, students jumped and ran, the air filled with laughter. And away to the parking lot, teachers flew like a flash, inserted their keys, and tried not to crash. The parking lot's almost empty, the school now closed, off to a long break, no one was opposed. On Rossler, on Grobmeyer, on Kohler, on Harden, on Mathis, on Meadle, on Egbert and Hudson, all driving out of sight. Happy holidays to all and to all.